This is a recording of the ERD model this time. So you want, now you have created um, a design called student advising and we did the DFD. We want this time um, to do an ERD. So you would right click on logical model and click show. And I have already played with one, but I'm gonna delete So um, we start by creating an entity, and as you can see at the top, um, there is an icon for, I, for entities. And we'll call the first entity student. And we'll go and define attributes. And the first attribute is student ID and we will specify that as a primary unique identifier and second would be student name address city we want um, also to add state And uh, measure, for example, okay. We will create another entity and that's courses taken. Or first we'll create the main one courses. And the attributes will be course number. Again, a primary ID course title or, um, I think we can go with course description right away Credit hours. And um, the third course would be courses taken or um, enrollment.
okay now I'm not gonna add uh, the rest of the attributes for enrollment just like to show you one thing well it's obvious that a student takes many courses and a course is taken by many students and, the, and as a result we get the associative entity enrollment so now we want uh, to create um, two one-to-many relationship student takes many um, many uh, or are, is enrolled in many courses so we'll have uh, we'll click on one to many we'll have student as the source and enrollment as the target So, um, stud student enrolls uh, in a course or in a uh, in a particular enrollment. Enrollment is taken by or um, registered by. by students so the student is the source and enrollment is the target and this um, the, it's from source to target is one too many so a student um, may take one or many or may have one or many enrollments Okay, the, um, so in that case, the enrollment, the target is optional. They may have one or many enrollment. So a student may take one or many enrollments. Now, one thing about enrollment is that the relationship between student and enrollment is what we call the identifying uh, relationship which means that enrollment really depends on student in order on the relationship between um, the student and the enrollment in order to exist so see when we when we check identifying what will happen then um, that vertical uh, line is being added to specify that this relationship is an identifying relationship, which means the enrollment, the enrollment entity is dependent on the relationship between student and enrollment. I have to have a student ID inside uh, of enrollment as an attribute. So see here, even though you have enrollment ID as the primary key, the student ID is also being added and, uh, and that is done automatically because you have specified that relationship as um, an identifying relationship. Same thing here. So a course may have one or many enrollments. So an enrollment belongs to a course, and uh, a course is or courses are registered uh, in enrollment. So again, courses a course may have one or many enrollment, and enrollment um, must be a particular enrollment must be uh, 
must belong to one course. So again, the target is optional, but you must have a course to have um, when, when there is an enrollment, it must be for a particular course. And again, it is an identifying relationship. So now you see a course may have one or many enrollments, but an enrollment must be related to a course. Now, looking again at the properties of enrollment, you will see that the attributes now have student ID and course number. So they have automatically um, inherited the student ID and course number from the student table or the student entity and the course entity. So th that's basically what you need like to know for, um, for the drawing of the ERD. Uh, part of the exam is um, creating an entity, um, creating relationship between entities, defining the cardinality and the ordinality, um, and um, determining whether a relationship is an identifying relationship or not. Okay. Thank you for listening.